Hello, Mr. Sologer here to review the star Polaris with you. We want to take a look at three things. Locating the star Polaris, also known as the North Star. Taking a look at star trails and their connection to Earth's rotation. And how you determine your latitude using the star Polaris. Let's dig in. One thing we need to know right away is that the star Polaris is only visible in the Northern Hemisphere. To locate the star Polaris, we're going to first try to find the constellation, the Big Dipper. The reason why we start with the Big Dipper is because it has seven very bright stars in the night sky that are easy to locate. The end two stars in the Big Dipper are referred to as the pointer stars. If you draw a line through the pointer stars, that will connect to Polaris, which is the end handle of the Little Dipper. One of the tricky parts about locating Polaris is that the star Polaris will appear to stay in the same position. However, the other stars will appear to move around Polaris. At a different time of night, the pointer stars might be located over here. No problem, draw a line through the pointer stars and they will still guide you to the location of Polaris. Now that we know how to find Polaris, if we were to take a camera, set it up on a tripod, and aim it at the star Polaris, which would be in the center here, and hold the camera lens open for several hours, what we would take a picture of would be a series of swirls around the star Polaris, each one of these being the apparent motion of a star going around Polaris. If you were to hold that camera open for a 24-hour period, the stars would make a complete circle around Polaris of 360 degrees. From that, we can determine the Earth's rate of rotation. Here's how. The way that we explain this is that Polaris is located directly above Earth's axis of rotation. Since the other stars appear to go around one time in a 24-hour period, we can divide 360 degrees by 24 hours to determine Earth's rate of rotation, 15 degrees per hour. One of the skills that we would like you to have is to be able to take a look at star trails and determine how many hours a camera lens was held open. In this example, you have an arc of 90 degrees across the sky. If you divide that arc of 90 degrees by 15 degrees per hour, that means that the camera lens here was held open for six hours. Here's another example. We need to know that star trails are the result of Earth's rotation. In this case, we see that this star trail is starting at 30 degrees, ending at 90 degrees. This one starts at zero and ends at 60. All of the star trails are 60 degrees of arc across the sky. If we divide that by Earth's rate of rotation, 15 degrees per hour, we can determine that the camera lens was held open for a period of four hours. Now that we know how to connect star trails to rotation, let's take a look at determining our latitude by Polaris. Remember, you can only see the star Polaris in the Northern Hemisphere. The way that we determine our latitude is we need to measure an angle from the horizon up to Polaris. That angle is called altitude. In this example, soccer star Sidney LaRue is looking north and up at an altitude of 43 degrees north, she observes Polaris. That altitude is equal to your latitude. That means that Sidney LaRue is located at 43 degrees north in this diagram. In this example, the observer sees the star Polaris at an altitude of 55 degrees off of the northern horizon. That means that this person is located at 55 degrees north. In this example, the observer is located at 32 degrees north, with Polaris being observed at an altitude of 32 degrees. I hope this helps you to review the important concepts related to Polaris.